Today is primary day in Michigan, and for the Republicans, today's results will determine only 16 of Michigan's 55 delegates. The 39 others will be decided Saturday during a state party convention. But there will be competing conventions this weekend because of a leadership dispute within the GOP. Christina Caramo, an election denier and Donald Trump supporter, was removed as chairwoman last month following a vote by state party committee members. She has refused refused to accept the results and still claims to be the party's leader. You wait wait a second. Hold on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on a second. Are you saying <laughs> that, a, that an election denier denied her own election results? What a shock. I mean, this is, this is Gene Robinson. This is such a sign of things to come. It is. I think, it is. I think you know, sometimes you need to step back, right? Sometimes you need to step back and you go... Why are things happening the way they are? And I know we've all seen mm -hmm. op-eds uh, mm -hmm. talking about this through the years, but the Republicans have lost seven of the yeah. last eight presidential elections when it comes to popular vote. They've mm -hmm. been able, they figured out in 16 how to win um, and, and just barely, and they did it through the Electoral College. But, you know, <clears throat> Gene, not to get too deep in it here, but I'm going to get deep in it here because it's just kind of what I do. If you take away Ralph Nader in 2000 mm -hmm. and you take away Jill Stein in 2016, get this, a Republican, a Republican would not have been elected president this century. And that's, of course, assuming Bush doesn't run in 2004 when re-election. But, but the Republicans have lost the country. Yeah. They've lost, you know, they've won one. This is amazing. Since 1992, Republicans have won the popular vote one time. So what do you do if you know you're going to lose it? You've lost the country. And you're not going to change anything. You're just going to keep denying elections, and they're trying to perfect yeah. it now. I know. Yeah. Well, the first thing you do is you gerrymander the hell out of everything, right, to, to, to try to sort of build in an advantage, and you put your thumb on the scale in every way you can, which the Republican Party did, and, and then you still lose. So the only recourse after that is just to say, no, it didn't happen. It, I, I didn't lose. I, I actually won, even though, even though you lost, and that's... Uh, I, it is incredible that this is sort of being repeated down the ranks of the Republican Party, and now you have the situation yeah. in Michigan where this really, and I'm, yeah. I'm, I think this is a term of art, but this real complete wacko is claiming to just don't be head of the party when when it's really hoaxed now. Apparently, we'll see. They'll have to figure. Yeah. They'll have to duke it out. So. Uh, yeah. Earlier this month, the Republican National Committee recognized Pete Hoekstra, who was endorsed by Trump as the state's party chairman. He will oversee a convention in Grand Rapids while Car Caramo is holding her gathering in Detroit.